Hey, I'm Todd. Thanks for choosing to watch my video. And if you would subscribe it, like it, Facebook it, Twitter it, all that stuff, you know, uh, that'd be great. Otherwise, enjoy the video, and I hope it uh, gives you the information you need and is helpful to you. Underneath that 2006 Honda Odyssey 3.5 liter V6. Actually got the cover off right here. They're really starting to use clips that I don't like. These are the clips they're using. They hold the shield on right there. There's a bunch of clips along the front. A couple on the side. Both sides. And uh, they have a couple special tools. Like these. Otherwise, I guess you gotta use what you gotta use to uh, get those clips off. So we get this bottom off, and then we can get to all the 10 millimeter bolts. And this is how I think I'm gonna do it. There's a bracket for the transmission lines. Just use a pliers and take these hoses off here. Here for the transmission line, that'll be transmission fluid. You can actually get to 10 millimeter bolts. Go through here. There's this bracket here. This bracket here, cooling fan bracket right here. I just take it all the way out. <clears throat> There's one there and then one over here as well. So one, two, three, four, five, 10 millimeter bolts along the bottom. Two hose clamps, take those off for the training lines. Here's the pet cock, you can drain the coolant, which I've already done overnight. And finally the uh, heater, uh, lower radiator hose, which can be a pain as well. Again, they make a special tool clamp removal tool for this. Maybe we'll get in there with a, a players of some kind, small players. Maybe reach over the top here, squeeze this, and, and pull it off. So that's it for all the bottom. Whoa. So you can see I've got the radiator hose off, just like I talked about using. I used the players, went through this top part. Got these clamps loose, and these hook tools are really useful to try and separate the hose from uh, the pipes so I'll stick this in here or if you get a small screwdriver you can probably do that just separate those and maybe you can twist them off twist and pull off this one's free now so just twist so we can pull those off so here's a look at the top <clears throat> we get a lot of 10 mil well some 10 millimeter bolts and a lot more of those dumb clips Here's more of those dumb clips I've shown you previously, probably. They look like this. You can use two small screwdrivers sometimes and uh, get these out on each side. Lift that centerpiece out first. Centerpiece comes up first, then you should theoretically be able to pull these out. I can tell you it doesn't always work that way in the real world. So this is off. And also we got the front piece off right here. Again, more clips. Right here, it's got three ones down here on the bottom. A little tougher to get to. You can use this special tool I showed you previously. The pins that go in here, right down here. Up here, and we got brackets, 10 millimeter bolts right here for the radiator and for the condenser. Here's our beloved radiator, here's our beloved condenser the brackets right here 10 millimeter bolts down here and we have the freedom to flop this around and I guess I'm gonna plan on leaving all this stuff in the vehicle so 10 millimeter bolt 10 millimeter bolt 10 millimeter bolt 10 millimeter bolt one clamp up here so we got those all off and theoretically we should be able to lift it out right there mmm look at that right here Let me get around that probably not Looks like three 10 millimeter bolts for the hood latch. Maybe four. Uh, no, not feeling anything. Three 10 millimeter bolts and get that off. Sorry about that. Make a note. You'll probably have some circles on there just trying to line up the circles on the bracket with the circles on the bolts. So it'll go right back where you uh, took it off and pull the radiator out. I'm going to try and pull the cooling vans, 
back towards the engine a little bit because we do have to fight over the transmission lines down there and also the lower radiator hose connection down there so it could be a little tricky it might need two people maybe just to give you a quick hand we can pull this condenser out of its holes down there and bring it forward a little bit too to give you some more space